Hey guys, welcome to the Whimsical Workshop. It is hard to believe, but we are ready to put our matching quilt together. Yay! We are on month, like technically month 13. Um, we have got all our blocks done that you can see here. And I've gone ahead and I've cut the sashing following the directions, following the directions from the pattern. Um, so you do need your finishing pattern to do this and you should have all your 12 blocks pieced and ready to go and then you cut all your sashing. Now how I do it is I went through and as I cut my sashing I labeled each piece with the measurements. So it's easier for me to grab my pieces. I would have done it even if I wasn't shooting a video but in this case it makes that job easier too. So I'm going to go ahead. I have all of my pieces cut. I do have the uh, outer borders. They're four inch strips sitting here. I'm going to go ahead and piece them together one of the times I'm sewing all the other stuff together. And all my borders when I piece them, let me show you how I do it. Just don't mind all the back, the colorful backdrop behind us is I'm going to use a 45 degree seam and what that means is I lay out the first strip to the left and the second strip goes on top at a right angle and I'm going to sew from this corner to this corner and then this will flip out and give me a miter. It just makes your borders look a little bit more professional, a little cleaner and if there was a design it's easier to for your eye to like jump over it and not notice there's a seam. So I will piece these, there's eight of them, so I'll pair, pair them up and piece them for each of the four borders as when I'm over at the machine sewing for something else. So just so that you know, that's the end of it. So those go over there. So now, we've got our pieces and we got all our wonderful blocks. A whole year worth of work here. Um, and I hope you've had as much fun building these and the small projects I would love to see in the comments below. Just let me know if you stitched along the whole time. If you're just watching, I'm hey, say hello. Or if you did some of the bonus projects, let me know you did those as well. We are working on another one for 2025, 2026. Um, it will be very different from this one, but I'd love to hear your comments on your favorite colors, your favorite block of the month? Do you like a lot of piecing? Do you like applique? Do you like machine embroidery? Just leave me a comment. Let me know so we can take that into account. Now we're ready to start assembling. We've already done all our cutting. Um, my pattern is all marked up so if you do see this on the camera it's just because we were this is the pattern we used for editing and I didn't feel the need to reprint it. So first things first is we are going to find our Inspire block. Now know that the quilt does not go together in order of the blocks we sewed them. Inspire I think is month 11 and that's the first block we're working on. So do pay attention more to what block we're doing and not assume we start with block one and two because this is block one and two already done. We pieced this at the end of month two. And this is the top of the whole quilt. So we really don't need to worry about these two. So I'm gonna set this behind me because we're not gonna deal with this right now. And actually the other blocks will go back there too. I did go through and I pressed all of my blocks to make sure all the wrinkles were out. And we're just gonna nicely stack these behind me till I get to the one I need, which is right here. So we need our Inspire block. And so what I like to do when I'm doing these, now I do sew a lot of quilts, so that shouldn't be a surprise. But what I like to do is I'm gonna lay up all of the pieces with their blocks on this first page. So one, two, three, four units. And then take them over to the machine and sew them at once. I can do all of them that way. And that way, that is all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. So these are the units, and then we're gonna take those units and we're gonna sew them into bigger units, and then that becomes the quilt. But by doing this, I know I've got the right pieces with the right blocks, and I don't have to um, maybe use the wrong piece in the wrong place and then find out later it's the wrong piece. So let me first grab my glasses, and we're just gonna start that. So this first one gets two three by 12 inches. So we're gonna find those. And you do have to be careful, because there's three and there's three and a half and two and a half. So here we go. Here are two of the three by twelves. They go top three by twelve and a half. They're going to go top and bottom on this. So I'm just going to 
set this together over here to iron or to iron to sew and then we're going to do uh, we need our sun and our big daisy and our laugh block so there's the laugh covered in lint or threads i'm sure that happens with you guys too and this is where having a bigger table is very handy so here is the laugh block then we've got the sun oh that's a piece of it, lint and this block now what we have um are the two and a half or two, yeah two and a half by twelve and a half goes here followed by the three and a half by twelve and a half here so we're going to sew those together first so that one that one and this goes in between so we've got those to go i'm going to double check everything when i'm at the sewing machine i'm just laying the pieces together so i know the pieces are in the right spot. So this one gets one two and a half by 20 and a half that on that side. And then on this side, it gets a three and a half by 20, which it looks like there's one of. And then top bottom, I'm gonna just fold this so that I remember those two go there. So we're gonna sew these and then those and then Four and a half, four and a half, five and a half by 29. So there's two of those, the four and a half. It goes together super fast if we have all our numbers right. So those go there and then we need one five and a half by 29 and that goes there. So that's section number two. And then section number three, we need the hearts. And we need the stars and the create block so we've got the hearts the create block and then the stars which are the main blocks and I just threw one of my blocks on the floor there we go so now for this one we need a three and a half by fourteen and a half that goes next to create I'm just going to fold that over and then we have the stars and the hearts and that's a two and a half by 24 and a half oh, there it is tucked underneath and there are three of those so I'm just going to take one of those that goes between these two So again, we're just sort of folding them together. And then we have a two and a half by 27 and a half, a three by 27 and a half, and a three by 27 and a half. So there's two of threes and one of those. So these all go with that section. And then finally, we have our smile block. Well, not finally, because I've got other blocks left here. We've got, oh, wait, nope, that's Dream. Wrong block. Doop, doop, doop. Let's just pull up what we've got left here. Because there must be another row somewhere. So we've got Smile. And you get two, two and a half by 20s. That leaves one of those. And we get two two and a half by 24 so that is that one ready so you're kind of getting the hang of it hopefully so now we've got these three blocks left and they make the bottom row which I'm assuming is going to be on this page no I don't read the directions I just look at the pictures <laughs> so okay so yeah so once I get those those subunits together that becomes the middle row because we finished that block one and two is the top row those are the middle row. Then the, um, the last three blocks are the bottom row. And that is where these three blocks, this guy, and the smile block, once it's bordered, will be in the bottom row. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sew my units together, this, the, these individual units. Come back, show you those, and I'll show you the next step. 
All right, so we have all our sections sewn together. So let me grab the pattern here. It's easier to see in the pattern because the quilt is so big. So we've got our imagine section right here. We have the sun with the laugh, actually. Let's put these in order. Sun. So we have imagine, oh, here's the imagine. Here's the middle row, well, the middle of the middle row, unit 193, which is laugh. And then the very last section is create. So we sew these three together and they're gonna make the middle row of the quilt. And then I've gone ahead and I've made the bottom row of the quilt using these sections. So we've got dream, we've got the butterfly, we've got the smile, and then the very end, we've got the pretty little daisy line. So this is bottom row. And then, like I said earlier, we did the top row in month two, which is the imagine with the stars. So we've got top row and bottom row complete. We're going to sew these three together and they'll be the middle rows. And then finally, we just sew the three rows together and we're going to add our borders. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the quilt top here, but I hope this helps you be able to tackle the Imagine quilt. Um, I'm not going to be able to, I, I'm, I can kind of hold it up for you guys, but I just don't have a lot of room in my studio to do it. So let me get this sewn together and I will be back to show you what I've got. I don't have a lot of room to hang it, hold it up, but this big guy is all finished. So with that being said, I hope you have enjoyed this 12 month journey with me to create the Imagine Quilt. Um, this has definitely been a passion project for me. I am excited to announce that Fox Fox Chapel Publishing has picked this up and it will become a book that will be available in 2026. So look for that even though you've bought all the patterns. I want to thank everyone for supporting me through this block of the month. I hope you've had fun with the secondary projects as well as the quilt. And I want to dedicate this one to my dad because I started this with him last year and unfortunately he is not with us anymore. But every month when I pull this out to work on it, I have his notes, he helped me cut it, he helped me label it. Um, so this is, this is for dad. So with that being said, I wanna thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.